there you are. Hey. I feel like we haven't seen each other in forever. You wanna have some dinner later? I'd love to, but you know, yoga waits for no one. Another time. Oh, hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. <laughs> really? Criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey, hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. You make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You wanna get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you wanna you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole! Don't do it, Johnny! I told him, Trevor! I told him! We all get high! We all get high! But that don't Leave make it, it right! Johnny. Leave it! The crystal has got us, babe, but that don't make it right! Don't make nothing right! Not what you've done with me! I'm telling Johnny, leave it! I ain't leaving nothing! Trevor! I'm talking to you, motherfucker! Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him leave it, leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh, I don't hey. mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Shh. <laughs> fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you, then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> Now, we gotta speak to Johnny's recently bereaved brothers. Wait! This ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh... My cousin's there, but I don't... Find him, Wade! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? The range, see the bikers. Free. We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley he was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch! Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. We're going up to that farm on the right? That's where they're meant to be. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. Down he fell! They're a fine kill! You can't fuck with the van, but we can drop those bikers. Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah! There's the other one! If they fuck, they didn't make you for the home. Yeah! Thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are! All righty, Root! Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. You need some feet bumps back here, or, or straps, or something. I only keep things in the back I don't mind losing. Sharp left! Slow it down! Uh, I can't see us taking out all the bikers this go, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip. Some over, you know, by the... If not today, their time will soon be upon them. If we go off the side on the left there, we should make it across. Make sure. Once you know, you could drop me and Wade at the trailer. Maybe bring Chuck to finish that. We do this now, Ron, all of us. We're right on these bricks. I gotta see third bank of blood. Come on, come on. Here we go. Come on. Oh, look, look. They're pulling up. You did it, Trevor. They're stopping. Watch the entrance, boys. No one leaves without my express permission. Please don't try and come out of here. You're so fucking dead.
Just step in. Anytime. Chuck, now! <sighs> Wade? What are you still doing here? You said I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? Oh, yeah, pick me up some sticky bombs. We're dropping in on Ortega. He has Tekas? That makes me nervous. Ah, don't be nervous, nervous, Ron. He'll be fine with the takeover. Takeover? Trevor! We don't need to. Now the bikers are gone. It's just us, the Aztecas, and the O'Neills. The market's big enough. Here he is. Let's wake him up. What? With the truck? No, come on. Ortega runs the whole county. He what don't anymore. Here we come. friend you are out of business the lost MC are out of business the guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips enterprise or they ain't going saying something don't make it true no it's only out of professional respect oh that feels better <laughs> I guess he don't run nothing no more come on T let's go I don't know what these naysayers are talking about. Look most of the time, but I'm productivity personified. You sure achieved a lot today. It was time to put my affairs in order. You going somewhere? As soon as I find that Spectre on the TV, Michael Townley. He's your buddy you said got shot, right? You guys used to run together. Yeah, that's him. My best pal. I thought he was dead. You're catching on fast. Yeah. The fucking ghost I've been talking about. He's alive? He's walking and he's talking. He's sticking up joints, so I guess, yeah, that makes him alive, don't it? And how you know it's him? It's his M.O. And it's the same corny shit he was spewing ten years back. This could be a trap, Trevor. What if someone wants you to think he's alive? I was fooled when I thought he was dead. I ain't fooled now. Michael Townley lives and frees. He's in Los Santos, and he's got some explaining to do. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! Speak. You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. Trevor? You found Michael Townley? I was... I'm looking. Look faster! Boss. I really feel we're close to a breakthrough, Ron. I hope so, Trevor. I really do. 
but I'm a little worried. Of course you are. I mean, we've been here before, on the cusp of a big deal, then, well... Well, what, Ron? Nothing. No, not nothing. What? What? Don't make me say it a third time. Well, someone always upsets you, and... So you're saying I'm too sensitive for this career path? Exactly! You're a tortured soul! That's just what I meant. You know, I think you may be right there. Trevor? Michael Townley, where is he? Um, uh, I don't know where. Find him, you idiot! Hello? You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. <laughs> He's won. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing. Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. 
They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too! You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Chang Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. Shit, Trevor! We ain't got long! Whoa, 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 whoa. Manor chef! These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. Chang and his <laughs> humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung! <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right? Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. Bomb. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, Chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little free clean. They really want you dead. Catching a chill. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Oh. I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. Trevor! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. 
this. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny came into anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chap wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh. <laughs> Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. Come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP industry. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. She'll do nicely. It'll be quiet as a mouse. Gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Over by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Guard by the tower? Taken care of. Keep moving. Make yourself useful. You want me to shoot you in the behind? Hurry up, will ya? Hurry it up, Ron! You're making me wish I brought the guy in the clown face. You can relax, because lights are out already. Now, don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Sailor. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! He's down there! Amongst the bodies! Clean shot, Trev! There's another guy at the top of the tower! He's probably looking for his buddy! 
And they all came tumbling down. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man. Get your sights on me, man. I can't move till I'm covered. You're in my crosshairs again. And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Good kill, Trevor. Engine fumes. 
Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. We're gonna make some coin from that hardware, boss. TP Enterprises are raising guidance, and the Lost MC are posting unexpectedly soft projections for the coming quarter. They're getting everything that's coming to them. A vast criminal conspiracy like the Lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. A few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean, back in Alderney. Man was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley. Man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool, and you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Keep low over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Rod. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact well for this kind of shipment, because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.
You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la! Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. This Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. <laughs> the O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! <laughs> ah! Ah! Trevor Phillips! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family myth business you got when I'm done! Mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse.
to the ground. Come on! You disrespectful pricks! Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying! I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley's living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the Lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Cam's up here. Before I drop in again. The asshole's here. They slipped. 
thing and make it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks.
next time. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mindfuck. I'll show you a fucking mindfuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor? Move up your eye hole, fucker. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game, then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy... And guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh, get you get, get you get. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to... So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. How much you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? Floyd ain't around here. What are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Nish Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on Icon maps. I'll give you directions. I turn right here. You don't turn here. 
Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Trevor, you called? No shit! What's happening? My ex-wife called me again. Man, there is nothing worse in this world than an ex-wife. Perpetual reminder of life's mistakes. A dreadful mistake. She's thinking of suing me again. For what? You live in a trailer. She heard my radio show. If she heard your radio show, she should pity you, not sue you. <laughs> That's nice, Trevor. No, Ron. It's not. It's unkind, but it's also true. Your ex-wife was a bitch! I did you the favor of a lifetime when I scared her off. You did. You really did. If after 12 years of happy marriage, one simple threat of dismemberment was enough to send her running, well, <laughs> I don't know. And she was having an affair. We proved that. You're right, Trevor. She wasn't committed enough. Exactly, Ron! Now get back to fucking work, all right? What are you yabbing at me for? Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. Lester, uh, what's up? The jewels have been fenced, and Michael's angry Mexican friend has been compensated for the house, so I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store job. Good work. All right, cool, man. Good working with you. Yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk or you're staring miserably at the clouds or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is. What part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! 
Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well... I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in the big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. But it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there with I didn't ask for a blow-by-blow blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pale, okay? It's too late for pale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed, now you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. Come on, come on, come on. These faces are reserved for production vehicles. <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. You ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. And where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw this! Where the fuck's Laszlo? <sighs> it doesn't matter. It is be quiet, Let's just go then and pack <laughs> all right, yeah, that was really, really good. all right. 
It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. It's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Wait a oh, oh, I said that's enough. Oh, hey, 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 I got security. Security. What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy. Come on. Tracy, go home! Come back here! Ah, they told us! We gotta take the truck! Get in the truck, Michael! Hey! Hey! Not my rig! We're running that prick down. We gotta go to the left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten this toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. They wouldn't kill a celebrity, would they? It's not legal. It's only a battery. Come on! This ain't exactly a racer. Just push him off the fucking road! Great! I'm about to die because of a TV show that nobody watches anymore! I saw him turn left! Ah, the little bastard's going into the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush this little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? He went left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. He's going around to the right. What was I thinking buying a hybrid? The right image. What a piece of shit. Right, up there. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes at LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh! Told those asshats we need more security. We'll get him. We'll get him. But we're sure taking our time about it. Ha ah, ah, ha! He's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. 
Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrité, mm hmm I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. <laughs> all right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, come on, get no! up. Take off, go, now. Before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Pop, seriously? Tracy hates you. What, because of that Laszlo thing? She should really hate you, because you're the one who told us where she was, you little snitch. Yeah, well, whatever. So, um, Uncle T, man, what's the deal? He's in town for a while. I know we really don't talk about the whole name change thing, but is that, like, cool? I always thought we'd change the name to get away from him. It's fine. Trevor won't hurt you. I know that. Trevor loves me. I I'm worried about you. It'll be okay. Don't call me! Trace, come on! I hate you! I wish Trevor was my father! You can't mean that! Don't call me! I'm back, motherfucker! That's all I get? It's me, Jimmy! Uncle Trevor! Oh, Trevor, shit! Wow, hey, hey! Jesus, your ability to speak goes along with your waistline? You don't need to answer that. Hey, look, seeing as you rolled on your sister so easy, what else you got, Tubbs, huh? I want bank details, contact lists, anything and everything your dad's hiding from me. Um, uh, um, uh, uh. Ah, uh, ah, Christ! Your brain really has softened. You're on downers, aren't you? Cannabis? The things that drug does to people. Don't bag on weed, bro. It's just, it's just, you're making me nervous. <sighs> Bank accounts, Jim. Get them for me. I swear, half my life in track. My bad, dawg. But I've been kinda on the down low. Man, it's a lot of heat around and I'm trying to cool off. Mr. Professional, the career criminal. Where's the fun in that? Nigga, the fun is in the paycheck, homie. But you ain't had none of those, huh? So you won't know. 
God, that is fu- Come on, bro. Time to move. Pretend like I'm a good guy sometimes. The guy who pays the bills is here. Hello, my darling wife. How are you? Just great, my faithless, feckless husband. Shit, I can't feel shit. 